Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Um, just for you, that I was just asking Drew about it. That final block, you see Tatum coming towards you. Just kind of what are you processing in that moment where you know Williams is behind you, you got to stop the drive and, and still make the play? Um, I'm going to jump, you know, no matter what. You know, if uh, Tatum's try to dunk it, uh, I'm going to try to block it, uh, just jump vertical, try not to foul, because we, I think we are up three at that point. But uh, he did, decided to pass it uh, to Williams uh, underneath the basket and I turn around, jump, you know. Um, you know, sometimes you're in disadvantage. Uh, in plays like that, you get ducked on, but it doesn't really matter. You know, uh, at the end of the day, you try to win a game, um, try to put yourself in a position to, you know, plug the ball, uh, and hopefully, you know, hopefully for you to get the plug. And uh, you know, he went our way. He went in our favor this uh, in that play, and um, we were happy. Uh, just what do you see from Drew on that steal? It feels like anytime someone spins around <clears throat> Drew Holiday as a help defender, he's gonna he's gonna get his hands on it. We've done it in the past. Uh, he's doing it again. Um, you know that he's gonna help. You know he's gonna be involved in the play. Um, you know when somebody comes down the floor and he's dashing with the ball, especially down the stretch, he's always reading the play. He's always trying to show his body. He's always gonna put his uh, hand in there and try to get a deflection or a steal. Uh, that's what he does, you know, and he got a big steal uh, down the stretch and um, definitely give us momentum. Uh, just for you, I think it was seven points in the first half, 29 in the second half. Um, Bud was like, hey, maybe you're shaking the cobwebs off a little bit. Just what did it feel like for you to, to be back on the floor and then, you know, you're, you're not getting the work you normally get in uh, when you are out with the health and safety protocols? First, it felt good. Um, tried to enjoy the game uh, as much as possible. Tried to set uh, low expectations for myself. Uh, obviously, it was my first game back. Um, I was very excited. Excited to be around my teammates. Uh, excited to be around the fans. Excited to play a game. Uh, you're not. You're not nervous. It's not that you're nervous. It's obviously, you gotta like kind of dust the rust off a little bit. Um, but, you know, I, I love this game, you know, and as I said, I try to set low expectations, just try to be out there, make the right play, make good decisions. Uh, I, um, did not care about the outcome of the game. Uh, I just put myself in position to be successful, help my teammates, and I knew that I'm going, you know, um, my instinct going to put me in positions that uh, to be successful, I can help my teams win the game. I think the last time we saw you was in Boston. Yes. Um, so were you, I mean, were you not feeling well initially, and uh, kind of, or were you surprised when you came home and, and had to go in the protocol? Um, I gotta be very careful here. Uh, you no, know, I, I, I felt good. I came back, I got tested, and I was positive. You know, and um, got it in the, the safety protocol. Um, back home, stayed back home. Uh, I was in uh, my basement. By myself, watching movies, a bunch of snacks, a bunch of fluids. Um, yeah, it was tough. It was tough, you know, seeing the team uh, out there playing, and you just feel like you're, you know, the, you know, like you're held back. But at the end of the day, you gotta be, you gotta be safe. Um, I felt better. Um, got my negative test. I got out, and now I'm back. You know, was able to get on the court for uh, two days. Prior to that, to get my win back and um, kind of does the uh, does the rust off, um, play a little bit, run up and down, and uh, now I'm back. You know, at the end of the day, I feel, you know, taking that uh, break of seven, I don't know, seven, eight days, whatever it was, um, I kind of needed it. You know, and mentally and physically, <clears throat> obviously, I missed it. But I'm happy that I'm back. I'm happy that I can help my teammates again. Yeah, it's a little different, right? Because in games you've missed before, there's, there's usually a physical reason, right? There's a an injury or, or something like that, whereas this is just rest. So was it more of a mental thing for you? That, uh, <laughs> to... it, no, I, I'm not going to lie. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoy every minute of it. Um, I, uh, after a few days, I was able to interact with my family. Um, you know, we watched a bunch of movies. We enjoy Christmas. Um, like I enjoy that. I, I, like selfishly, uh, I think I needed I needed a break 
you know. Um, but at the end of the day, like when you turn on the TV and you see your teammates and you see Chris playing and Drew playing and guys out there fighting, you know, to try to win a game, you're like, man, you know, like you, you want to be out there. Uh, but yeah, just sit down, watch a, watch a lot of movies, Netflix, snacks. That was pretty much it. Um, just, it, I think you set up Wesley for his first three, which was big. And then uh, you, you can just talk a little bit about the, the shot, obviously, at the end of the game that he hit. Big shot. Um, the first one he hit it was from the same position. Uh, and the second one, once we got the rebound, I saw George got the rebound, and I was thinking in my head, swing, 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 because West was wide open. And once I saw he got the ball, you know, my, my thought process is try to get the rebound. But I was so, you know, happy uh, and felt good about the shot because he just hit like two minutes ago, one from the same position. So big shots, uh, both shots I hit. And um, he definitely needed that uh, to feel good, to, you know, to come, you know, he came back today and um, big shots, big shots for sure. Uh, I know we've asked you, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of about this before at some point <clears throat> this season, uh, just finally feeling like you have your whole team back together. But today, you know, almost a clean injury report from you guys besides Brooke. So what did, what did it feel like to have a team, your entire team, almost back together here? It feels good. You know, I'm, uh, I was very happy for uh, Dante, you know, Bobby and Wes and me and, you know, the guys I was in the prodigal. You know, it's good to be back. But, like, just seeing Dante, you know, how hard we've worked, you know, throughout the playoffs and the summer and the season just to be able to come back and how positive we've been with the team. Man, it's big. You know, I'm happy that he's back. Um, he's definitely going to help this team, you know, um, to win games, <clears throat> to have a, a great season. He's a great player, and um, I'm just I'm just happy. I'm just happy because when you're – I've never been out for that long, but I've been out for, like, five, seven days, and I'm, like, eager to get back. I cannot imagine being out for six, seven months and uh, try to come back. And um, – I'm happy. I know his family is happy. Uh, he's going to, as I said, definitely help us. We're expecting uh, Brooke to be back whenever he gets ready. I don't know the timeline, and uh, but we gotta. I feel like we gotta keep connecting with one another. I feel like we've we've um, not played so much with one another. Like sometimes um, a guy comes back, a, a guy gets in safety protocol. A guy comes back, a guy gets injured. Like we have to connect as much as possible, even though it's in practice or in within the game. You know, just to keep that chemistry going because I think we have a very, very great team. And, um, you know, if we stay humble and we stay hungry, uh, great things going to happen for us in the future. But uh, very excited for Dante to come back and uh, can't wait for Brooke to come back also. Uh, and then just on that note, those last three minutes and change, I think you guys held him to one basket down the stretch. What did you like about what you guys did defensively? I think we were able to um, switch really well. Um, and this time we were, like, contact switching. We did not let them slip as much. Um, try to keep them in front. Try to play one on one as much as possible. Try to box Williams <clears throat> out because he's going for every rebound, and um, he usually gets a lot of tipping dunks or tipping uh, points, or he gives them second chance points. And you know, down the stretch, that's that's crucial. But I think we did a great job just keeping guys in front. You know, try to play one on one. Try to shoot over us. Contested twos. Contested threes. <clears throat> And rebound the ball and go the other way. Just when we went the other way, we tried to get us the best shot possible, find the open man, try to get downhill. And whenever the ball goes up, everybody goes for a rebound. Christos on Zoom. Hello, Yanis. Hello from Greece. Welcome back, first of all. Um, I'd like to ask you, you're, you were down by 19. What was the mindset in the team to, to make that come back and uh, be back on the winning call? Just keep playing, keep playing the game, keep enjoying take it possession at a time, just focus on ourselves, um, stay in the moment, do not worry about, you know, the end of the game, that they're up 19, how we're going to get back, just take possession at a time. And, um, you know, we <clears throat> as we move on forward, we're going to try to figure it out. Uh, I think guys was kept playing, we got in zone, we were able to get some stops, um, get back to the game, then they hit a couple threes, got out of zone. Uh, but no matter, like, we were just trying to just keep ad adjusting, no, I think adapting, keep adapting uh, 
uh, possession by possession, and um, you know, coming out in the third quarter, I think uh, we kind of set it set the tone. We defend well. We move the ball offensively very well. Some shots fell. fell. Um, that's pretty much it, and we were able to you know get back in the game. And even when they went up, you know, I think 13 or 11, we kept our composure, kept playing, kept defending. Keep trust one another, and uh, we're able to, you know, lead in the last 30 seconds of the game. But at the end of the day, um, we have a great team. You know, as long as we stay hungry throughout 48 minutes, we have good chances of, of us, uh, you know, and putting ourselves in position to win a game. And speaking about your block on uh, Rob Williams, do you see that? Do you believe that uh, every attacker, and, uh, Especially against you, thinking twice before make a make a decision on the on offensive end. Uh, <clears throat> I, I really don't know, you know what the what they think. I've, you know, um, I just try to focus on myself as much as possible. Uh, but I'm I'm going if if I'm in a position that I can jump and block a play, I'll always jump. Um, but uh, to be honest with you, I really don't know what. The opponents, um, or the guys uh, in that, you know, that play against me, think when uh, they're about to um, dunk or you know lay a ball up. Sorry, um, two questions about the basement. One, did you actually have symptoms with with your bout with COVID? Like, did it actually like affect you? Mm, a little bit, yeah. D- like, did you lose like sense of taste or smell or not that bad? Okay, I, I got too big of a nose. <laughs> I could smell everything. <laughs> Uh, and then my second baseman question, what was your favorite movie that you watched? Or was it a TV show? Or, or, or what were you really getting after in the basement? That's a good one. Um, man. I don't remember. I don't remember. I watched so many shows. Um, yeah, uh, I'll go with um, Hawkeye. Feminist Hawkeye. Um, it was pretty good. I, li- I love Marvel. Thank you guys.